Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Honda 3200, the EU 3200 versus the EU 3000. This is a full size generator and Honda's compact generator. Even though this one has 200 more starting watt, this one actually has 200 more running watts. So you have 3000 watts starting, 2800 running, and this guy over here has 3200 watts starting but only 2600 watt running and it is compact so you're going to run at a higher rpm this is probably one of the quietest generator in the 3000s absolutely silent generators let's see how they compare we're going to run this i'm going to put some load on it probably two ac and see where we run how loud it is we'll do a db test just a quick comparison guys i know you guys wanted to see this one versus the 3000 so let's do it carbureted fuel injected you're gonna get better fuel economy on this one, being uh, fuel injected. But let's see how it handles the load. That's what we wanna see. The size difference, let's come right here, kinda of do a side by side. You can see how much taller, the smaller one's a little longer, but the, the height difference is, is huge in the complete size. You can see this right here. Full size versus compact. Let's hook it up to the RV and see what they sound like once we put a load to it. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start the smaller one first, the compact version. Let's start it. So you just come over here, turn it on. So this one has pull start and key start. The compact version, the 3200, only has pull start. So that might be a deal breaker for most people. <laughs> One pool started up. See right here in the front. We're gonna be using this right here, 21.7. And this one's rated for 23.3. So let's get it all connected. I have everything hooked up, my meter. I'm just gonna use the same meter to rate both of them so we know exactly where we are because this one does not have um, Bluetooth. This is an old version. I know you guys are gonna say the new one has all that stuff, but this is an old version and I'm gonna use that one. So let's get it connected. All right, we're putting out right about 126 volts, pulling 1.9 amps. Okay. Let's go inside. Let me do a quick DB test, kind of running like this, and then we'll, we'll do a DB test on the other one doing the exact same thing. So one at startup and one at full load. Okay, guys, I'm standing right about five feet from it. Yeah, 64.1, five feet from it. I'm going to go back 23 feet. Fifty-five point four. All lights on. Pure sine wave. On thirty-two hundred. No distortion. Come over here. Turn on the refrigerator. We have the refrigerator running. I'm going to turn one AC on. The microwave and the cooktop. Trying to get to the twenty-six hundred running, and see if it can handle it. I know it's gonna go over. I know this small compact will run all the way up to 3000. Let's turn on the AC. So we have one AC running. Let's get that AC started. Okay, that's the fan. Let's wait for that compressor surge. All right, compressor just come on. Now we're gonna turn on the cooktop. On, eat, and all the way up to 10. Let's check our power rating. I'm gonna hit the microwave. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna do it. Right 
We got overload, 3200.8. Oh, I couldn't get the DB test too early. Everything shut off. Okay, so that's okay. So we got an overload on this one. So we did the uh, one AC, the refrigerator, the microwave, and the cooktop. So we got an overload. That's perfect. So now let's see what this guy overloads at. Shut this one off. All right, let's get this one hooked up. So let's see if this one can handle that load. Let's get it started. Fired right up. We'll do the same like the other one. Sixty one point six five feet. Let's go back. We're about fifty five point seven. Let's turn that same load on. Come in here for the Honda three thousand. Refrigerators on. One AC. Okay, guys, we got the AC fan just came on. Compressor is on. We got the compressor on. Let's turn on the cooktop. On, heat, turn it all the way up to 10. Okay, guys, we got the AC on. Stovetop on. Let's turn that microwave for one minute. Okay, just like the other one, you got the overload, and it overloaded. So, that's funny. This guy right here actually handled the load longer than the 3000. That's amazing. I did not think the smaller one was going to have or handle the load better than the 3000. Wow, that blows that just blows my mind. A small engine, fuel injection, it actually handled the load longer than the 3000. And I know you guys are thinking I know you guys are thinking, well, it's a 3000 versus a 3200, but this is a bigger engine and I just thought the 3200 wouldn't handle the exact same load as the big brother. But it did. That's amazing. All right, guys, just a quick test. I know you guys gonna, the keyboard warriors are gonna go crazy on this one, but I don't care. Just a quick test for the people that wanna see the 3000 versus the 3200. And let's just put it out there that the 3200 handles its own. It actually powered the fridge, the cooktop, and the microwave, and one AC longer than the 3000 and I'm surprised it did that. So we just finished the test and we tested these two generators and all I have to say is they both performed excellent but this one actually surprised me because I did not think it would match the power of the bigger 3000. 28 running, 26 running. These two are awesome generators but the fuel injection in this one you have a 130 cc engine fuel injected but it only has 8.6 hours runtime because if it's 1.2 gallon tank. This one over here, you have, it's still carbureted, but you have a 196 cc engine. That's almost a 200 cc engine. And this one has a 130 cc engine. So you got 196 cc's, but you get 20 hours runtime. All right, with 3.4 gallons. So three and a half gallons for 20 hours. And then you have 1.2 gallons for nine hours. So there you have it. When you listen to it in person, this generator is a lot quieter 
than this one. I know the, the DB test showed different, but when you just hear listening to it, this one sounds quieter. All right. So it is quieter. This one's rated for 50 and this one over here is rated for 54 DBs. All right, guys. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Guys, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching my channel. Really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.